بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Thank you for joining us with on our program The Excellence of Manners where we are discussing the manners that a Muslim and Muslims are supposed to have and attain and how easy they are to attain and when you attain these high manners you will incur the love of Allah you will incur the love of the Prophet Sallallahu and in this life the love of the people around you we've already covered uh, truthfulness and uh, clemency today we are talking about a very important topic that is mentioned numerous times in the Quran and that is patience and with us as always is our Sheikh Saeed Al Qadi from London. Jazakumullah khair for joining us and welcome back. Jazakumullah khair, may Allah bless you. Jazakumullah khair. Of course, as usual, we like to start with the, the Islamic definition of patience because these terms are known uh, throughout the world and regular people know what patience is, but can we define it in an Islamic term? Jazakumullah khair. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. All praise due to Allah alone. We praise Him. We thank Him. We seek His guidance and His forgiveness, and we repent to Him. We seek refuge in Allah from the evil of our souls and our sinful deeds. Whoever Allah guides, none can mislead, and whoever Allah misleads, none can guide. Abar witness that there is no deity worthy of worship but Allah subhanahu wa taala. And Abar witness that Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم is his servant and his last messenger. <laughs> With regard to the definition of uh, sabr, patience. Patience is to uh, basically to restrain yourself from being fearful and being worried at the time of hardship. To accept the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to restrain yourself from falling in the evil actions and to push yourself towards the good actions and the good deeds. And um, patience is one of the top and high qualities in Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he addressed this uh, quality and this manner, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَمَنْ صَبَرَ وَغَفَرَ Whoever practices, whosoever practices uh, patience and clemency and forgiveness, إِنَّ ذَٰلِكَ لَمِنْ عَزْمِ الْأُمُورِ Indeed, those qualities are from the top and high and excellent manners in Islam. Allah Akbar. Yeah. It is mentioned so many times, Subhanallah, uh, subhanallah yeah. as how Im to emphasize the importance of it. And as you said, the, the key to the sabr is the acceptance yeah. of, of your situation. Uh, now, uh, of course, there are different levels yeah. of sabr. Uh, it's not just one uh, thing that you can attain mm. quickly. Uh, can you tell us more about the, the different levels or types of sabr? Uh, if you're talking about types of sabr are different. If you're talking about the levels are different. Let's talk about the levels first. The levels first, okay. The levels is, uh, we have three levels of sabr. Um, the first level of sabr is to be patient, basically, which is patience. In, in the Arabic language called sabr. The second level of patience we call it istibar, istibar. And istibar means to be constant in your patience. Uh, because patience to be co patience is probably in, in a certain uh, situation. However, istibar means to be, to, to have uh, patience as a constant manner in your life. Okay. The second level. The third level, which we call it musabara. Musabara is to buy people in being patient. To buy, to, 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 to buy or to, to compete others in being, in being patient. SubhanAllah. And, uh, and they are mentioned in the Quran as well. Be patient and compete to another in being patient. This is the level, uh, the levels of, uh, these are the levels of uh, and, patience. And all these levels, are they attainable? They, they are attainable. They, they, are, they are definitely attainable. attainable. Yeah, attainable, yeah. Uh, but shall we talk about the types of, of sabr? Let's talk about the types first and then we'll see how we get to this, these levels. Inshallah. <laughs> The ties of sabr, Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah, Ibn Qayyim, one of the great scholars said that uh, sabr is of three types. Sabr is of three types. The first type of sabr is to restrain yourself 
to be patient uh, in fulfilling Allah's obligation upon you. In fulfilling the actions, the good actions that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has obliged up upon you. So patience in the good, do, uh, the, the good deeds. Patience in doing the good deeds. The second type of uh, patience is, to, is, 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 is the patience in restraining yourself and uh, holding back yourself from the evil actions. Allah Holding, back, holding yourself back from the evil actions. Uh, the first type, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is to, which is to uh, be patient in, the, uh, in doing the good actions, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressed it by saying, رَبُّ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ Allah ta'ala is the Lord of the heaven and the earth. فَعَبُدُهُ وَاسْطَبِرْ لِعِبَادَتِهِ So worship him and be patient and have constant patience in worshiping him. هَلْ تَعْلَمُ لَهُ سَمِيَّا فَعْبُدُهُ وَاسْطَبِرْ لِعِبَادَتِي هَلْ تَعْلَمُ لَهُ سَمِيَّا Do you know anyone who can resemble him? So be patient in worshipping him. Be patient in doing righteous actions. So this is the first type of sabr. The second one, it was, uh, which is to, be, to, to abstain yourself from doing the haram actions or the evil actions or the wrongdoing, it's also mentioned in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, or mentioned in the Sunnah, when the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spoke about the people who will be under the shade of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala when they will not be shade but his shade. He mentioned one of them, the man who will, the man who, 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 who has been offered, the man who was seduced by a very, an extremely beautiful woman. Uh, and then he rejected her offer saying, I fear Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So he was patient in abstaining from the, the evil actions, the, evil the haram. And uh, Ibn Kathir said that it's, it's a good example of this is uh, uh, Yusuf alayhi salam. Yusuf alayhi salam, when the, when the woman came to him, said to him, he was a very beautiful woman. She was extremely beautiful woman. She said to him, وَغَلَّقَتِ الْأَبْوَابَ وَقَالَتْ هَيْتَ لَكَ She closed all the doors and she said, I'm ready. I am ready. Come. What did he say? He said, قَالَ مَعَاذَ اللَّهِ No, I fear Allah. That he would rather go to jail than... Yeah, he abstained himself from... From doing this. From doing the evil actions. And this is a, 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 a patience. This is a patience in... Uh, the second type of patience. Patience in abstaining yourself from doing the, the, uh, the evil actions. And it was very easy to do easy this. Easy for him, this, subhanAllah. This, no. this action no. when you restrain from doing something that is haram and it's easily available for you that you get rewarded for it. No. You said there was a third type? Th third type is, is to be patient uh, at the time of calamities, at time of hardship, to show patience. And this type was mentioned in the Quran, was uh, mentioned in the Quran when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ And give glad tidings for those who are patient. And then now Allah ta'ala is defining them. Who are they? الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ Those, whenever a calamity uh, befall upon them, قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ What do we say? قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ Whenever they encounter any calamity in their life, any hardship in their life, they will say, we all belong to Allah and we shall all return to Him. إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. This, uh, any type of, uh, uh, one of these types of mm -hmm. sabr, when you achieve them, is, is this mentioned in the Qur'an that you uh, reach a certain degree in heaven for being patient in any of these three types? Yes, um, by being patient. Uh, and basically uh, the, the, the reward for this. Uh, the, the virtue of, 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 of sabr? It, do you, because we've been talking in the other mm -hmm. shows that uh, for example, truthfulness, you mm. can achieve the highest level mm. in, in Jannah and, and clemency and so on and so forth. Is this one of those uh, attributes? Uh, sabr will, will, will enable you to acquire a lot of uh, virtues, a lot of reward. Um, one of the most important reward that you're going to get from sabr is that you will gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ta'ala will love you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bestow his mercy and he will enable you to be beloved to him. Allah. And if you ponder on the verse when Allah ta'ala spoke about the sabirin, the patient people, Allah ta'ala said, 
وكأين من نبي قاتل معه ربيون كثير and how many prophets how many prophets fought in the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then with him a lot or a large bands of, of, of men of righteous people fought with him in the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then Allah ta'ala spoke about their, 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 their uh, manners he said فَمَا وَهَنُوا لِمَا أَصَابَهُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ They never lost heart. They never uh, given. They never weaken. فَمَا وَهَنُوا لِمَا أَصَابَهُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَمَا ضَعُفُوا وَمَا اسْتَكَانُوا وَاللَّهُ يُحِبُّ الصَّابِرِينَ Allah Ta'ala loves those who are patient. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Allah. So you'll gain the love of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala by being patient. Another virtue of being patient is that Allah Ta'ala will love you, first of all, and Allah Ta'ala will be with you. Allah Ta'ala will be with you, and when I say Allah Ta'ala will be with you, Allah Ta'ala will give you his support, his protection, his help, and Allah Ta'ala will, 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 will give you guidance. Allah Ta'ala said, وَاصْبِرُوا وَاصْبِرُوا and practice patience. إن الله مع الصابرين. Indeed, Allah Taala is with those who are patient, and that's that's why the Prophet said, Allah Taala, Allah Taala, when they spoke about the Ma'iya of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, Allah Taala is with us. They said, Allah Taala is also with those who have a particular uh, quality or manner. For example, المتقون إن الله مع المتقين. الصابرون those who are patient إن الله مع الصابرين. So Allah Taala will be with you. Allah Taala will give you support. Allah Taala will. Will help you. Another what else virtue. Do you need besides that? Huh? What else do you need besides Subha- if, if Allah, Allah is na. with you? What else do you need in this? In Subha- this Allah. What a great, a great, great, great reward. One more virtue. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will also give you a reward in the day of judgment without measure. Subha- you will have a reward and there is no measure. Subhanallah. There is no measuring. Allah ta'ala will give you reward as much as you want. Allah Ta'ala in the, in, in the verse in the Quran said إِنَّمَا إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ Indeed, those who are patient, they will be given rewards without measure. SubhanAllah, what a Allah great reward. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Uh-huh. Uh, inshallah, when we come back, we'll cover this uh, mm-hmm. again. Uh, please stay tuned and we'll be back in a few moments. Assalamu alaikum. Fortunate is he, fortunate is he, who remembers Allah abundantly. Allah the Most High and Merciful says, Invite to the way of your Lord with wisdom and fair preaching. Do you want to join Huda in calling to Allah? Do you want to spread the message like the prophets did? Do you want to share in the blessings and rewards? Why not support Huda towards these noble aims? Why not sponsor a program of your choice? If you would like to help Huda in spreading the correct message of Islam, please send an email to support at huda.tv or call plus two zero one four three two seven one double seven one for more details. Or fax plus two zero two three eight triple five two five one. Fortunate is he, fortunate is he who remembers Allah abundantly. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back, our dear viewers, to the program, The Excellence of Manners. Today we are discussing the uh, manner of being patient and how important it is. We covered before the break uh, the definition of patience, the types of patience, and the levels of patience. And we were talking about the rewards with our dear guest and uh, Sheikh from London, Sheikh Saeed. Uh, welcome back and take us back to Alaykum what we were discussing. Wa alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. bless you. Yeah. Uh, so the question is, what are the rewards of uh, being patient? Yeah. Uh, well, let's see the verse uh, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about the patient, those who are patient people. Allah ta'ala said, وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ And give glad tidings for those who are patient. patient. And then now Allah ta'ala is describing their actions. 
الذين إذا صابتهم مصيبة قالوا إنا لله دوس whenever they encounter any calamity or hardship they will say we all belong to Allah we all belong to Allah and we, are, we, we shall all return back to him وإنا إليه راجعون and Allah Ta'ala now is uh, telling us about their their reward Allah Ta'ala says أولئك عليهم صلوات من ربهم ورحمة those people those who are patient Allah Taala will give them a blessing from him Allah Akbar they will have صلوات from Allah Taala that means Allah Taala will bless them so if you are patient you will have blessing from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that's the first reward the second reward أولئك عليهم صلوات من ربهم ورحمة and they, they will have the رحمة from Allah سبحانه وتعالى الله تعالى will bestow his mercy upon them الله أكبر second reward third reward وأولئك هم المهتدون أن الله تعالى will guide them الله أكبر الله will give them guidance so if you want guidance then practice patience if you want guidance Practice patience and adhere to patience. وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُهْتَدُونَ تَعَالَى will guide them. Inshallah ta'ala. Allah. And there are many, many rewards for, يعني, for being patient. Inshallah. I mean, but that, how, how great is it to be guided? I mean, once you're guided, then that's, that's it. Allah. Yani, Allah. Allah. That's, that's success. Right. That's success for you nah. right there. And how about, you know, our ultimate goal, Jannah? Is, mm. is being patient alone? Mm. Uh, can we enter Jannah from being, with being patient? And not by being patient alone, but Patience is a very, very important aspect or important reason for entering Jannah. Patience is an important reason. Oh, I didn't mean reason. alone, alone. <laughs> <laughs> for entering Jannah. Uh, and, and the verse Allah Ta'ala emphasizes on this matter. Allah Ta'ala said, Inni jazaytuhum al bima sabaru. Today I will reward them, I will reward the people of Jannah. By what? And for what? For their patience. For their Patience. Inni jazaytuhum al bima sabaru. Today I will give them paradise and the bounties inside it because of their patience. Annahum humul faizun. And they are the successful ones. So through patience you will acquire success and you will enter Jannah inshaAllah ta'ala. InshaAllah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now uh, you did mention the, 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 the link between success and sabr. And that's what actually <laughs> what I wanted to, to talk about is, you know, is this, is this a factor in success? Yeah, when you come, you want to be successful. Is, mm. Should this be one of our goals to have in order to be successful? Because there's that, that link you just mentioned between success uh, uh, and, and patience. So you're asking if there is, there is, if there is a link between success and being, and patient. Be, being patient. Yes. There is, there is a link. There yes. is a strong link between being having success in this life, actually having leadership in this life, uh, and, and being patient. But let me, let me begin with success. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he, when he commanded us to be patient, Allah ta'ala said, Ya ayyuhal amanu sbiru. Oh, you believe. Practice patience. Practice Patience and be patient. وصابروا and Allah Taala is mentioning another level of the second level of yeah. sabr, third level, the third level, yeah. which is to compete with another in being patient. Patient. Being patient. يا أيها الذين آمنوا صبروا وصابروا so practice patience and compete with another in being in being patient. Patient. ورابطوا and guard guard those places where the enemies can attack you from. وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ and fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ by doing those actions you will gain success because لَعَلَّ in the Quran means you will get it means it's for tawkeed yeah that you're gonna get success in this life Allah inshallah ta'ala you did mention the story of uh, Yusuf in before the break and uh, mm. it is after he was patient at the end of the story that <laughs> God gave <laughs> him this, this level in, mm. in this life that mm. he was, you know, uh, he had this uh, power in, uh, in his country and, and he was a rule, uh, one of the rules and yes, he had all this power. So Allah no. granted him this position. Subhanallah. And that's why the ulama said uh, with practicing patience, with adhering to patience and, and 
being uh, patient, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the leadership in this life. You will have the leadership in this life. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, oh, Allah ta'ala spoke about the people of Banu Israel. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنْهُمْ أَيْمَّةً يَهْدُونَ بِأَمْرِنَا لَمَّا صَبَرُوا And we made from amongst them people who will lead under our commands. People who will lead under our commands. When they were patient. People who will guide as well under our commands. Why? بِمَا صَبَرُوا Because of their patience. Yes. وَكَانُوا بِآيَاتِنَا يُوقِنُونَ And they were certain in their faith in their faith and that's why the ulama said by practicing sabr and by having certainty in your in your faith you will gain the leadership in the deen بِالصَّبْرِ وَالْيَقِينِ تُنَالُ الْإِمَامَةُ فِي الدِّينِ having if you have sabr having if you have uh, patience and if you have right. certainty in your faith you will gain or you will acquire the um, leadership in the deen and what this would happen to Yusuf alayhi salam he also said to his to his brothers وَهَذَا أَخِي and this is my brother when you speak about his brother قَدْ مَنَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْنَ Allah Ta'ala has bestowed his favor his favor upon us إِنَّهُ مَنْ يَتَّقِي وَيَصْبِرْ whoever whoever whosoever practices sabr whoever is patient who and fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and is mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُضِيعُ أَجْرَ الْمُحْسِنِ Allah Ta'ala will not cause the actions of the good doers to be lost. Allah Ta'ala will give them the leadership in this life uh, and the honor in the hereafter. Allah Akbar. Every mm. time you hear a story of somebody that's patient, you always wait till the end of the story to <laughs> see how beautiful <laughs> yeah. the effect of sabr came mm. at the end. And when they were patient, something beautiful happened mm. at the end of the story. Uh, now uh, our program is talking about the excellence of manners and mm. we're talking about patience. No. Uh, how can we link these two? How do we go from patience to being, is this a, a well-mannered person? How do we achieve you know, the highest of manners f from patience? Well, uh, patience requires a lot of practicing, requires a lot of practicing. Um, uh, if you want to be patient, if you want to acquire this uh, manner, Try your best to practice it as much as you can. Train yourself towards it. And we have in the hadith, وَمَنْ يَتَصَبَّرْ Whoever practices patience, يُصَبِّرُهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى will give him patience. Accept the calamities that Allah Ta'ala has uh, befallen upon you. Accept them and be patient. And Allah Ta'ala will reward you for them. Because Allah Ta'ala will decree whatever He wants. Whatever He wants. But we will have to accept so train yourself towards it and train yourself to abstain from the evil actions, to practice sabr in this. Train yourself to push yourself towards doing good actions and this will help you as well to, uh, to acquire sabr. Try your, your best to, uh, to acquire this uh, quality by practicing it. Practicing. practicing SubhanAllah, now. when you also mentioned mm. the three types of sabr, mm. how many times a day do we have a chance to practice the sabr all day long from these three. Yeah. So we have a lot of chances to practice. Mm. So we get good practice in order to achieve such a high uh, uh, manner. Yeah, exactly. yeah. This topic, of course, is mm. a very long topic. Mm. And it's uh, we will continue this, inshallah, in, in the next session, in the uh, next program inshallah and episode. Uh, I'd like to thank our uh, viewers and uh, especially our guest, our Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Saeed. Uh, may Allah grant us patience and may Allah help us achieve the, the highest um, of manners, inshallah. And thank you for viewing and stay tuned for the next episode, inshallah, while we cover this topic of patience. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Fortunate is he, fortunate is he, who remembers Allah abundantly, worldly distractions can mildly sway, his thoughts of Allah and judgment day. Righteous is he, righteous is he, who bows to one he cannot see. 
whose deeds do not spring without Bismillah, fulfilling his tasks with perfect taqwa.